All right, day 96, 96 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. Coming to you live from Redondo Beach. Going to the uh, car shop today. We put this camera on, we'll get going. Going to the uh, uh, exotic car shop where they have all the uh, Ferraris and stuff. Let me put this camera on, we'll get going. Called uh, Fast Cars Limited. I haven't been there. Uh, let me get this on and start the timer. All right, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. Make sure I lock the car. Yep. Put in your, it's a nice white and purple flowers there. Now put in your guesses how long it'll take, how long I'll go. <laughs> but, uh, let's see what's going on over here. What this guy's doing. See what's going on here before I go any farther. Let's see what's going on over here. This guy look kind of. Sketchy. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna walk down here and go to the car shop. It's called uh, Fast Cars Limited. Let's see what uh, see what they got today. I'm walking right on top of somebody. They always have a bunch of Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Maseratis. Last time I was here, I saw a $16 million Ferrari. I think it was a 50, I think the guy said it was a 58 Spider or something. I really don't know. I didn't even know what I was looking at until I got home and looked it up. And I think that's what it was. But to be honest, still not 100% sure, but that was about, I don't know, three weeks ago, four, three, maybe four weeks ago. But we'll go see what they got today. Had some Porsches yet last time. Orange Lamborghini. Let's see what they got today. It's on the bottom of my shoe or something. These pink roses, pretty. A lot of them. They had an American flag and it's like a Rams flag. Reminds me of Sunday I went to see, uh, I was in Manhattan Beach and saw uh, Jared Goff's house. Well, I really didn't know which one it was until I got home, but it's on the tape. <laughs> I found out Shaq used to live in. Jared Goff's house. How about that? He's not the quarterback for the Rams anymore. He's the quarterback for Detroit Lions. But he kept his house here. Don't blame him. I don't think I'd want to live in the cold weather of Detroit. He bought the house next to it. It was $10 million. There's a Rivian. 
and he's gonna I think tear it down and build some another build an addition to his house or something I'm not sure that's what the realtor said look at that Rivian it's getting charged up oh boy all right let's see what we got down here today we got so oh, look at that what is that well they got a five or six ferraris out here this is a 60 some kind of race car or something oh what is that neon neon green something it's a, it gives a ferrari and an orange and if it's a ferrari or a lamborghini what is this Something foreign. I don't know what it is. It's a Triumph. I saw a Triumph motorcycle the other day. It's a Triumph car. Little guy. In good shape. It's from the 60s, I would guess. Something foreign, obviously. Triumph with the steering wheel on the other side. GB, Great Britain. Got neon green. Let's see what they got on this side first. Well, that's some old Ferrari there. I don't know what year. I better take a look. Sometimes the cars I don't think are expensive are the most expensive ones. I don't know what it is. See if it says designed by Perina for Farina. I don't know what model it is. Let me know if you know. Good looking car. There's a Porsche here. Doesn't say what model. Red Ferrari. I don't know what it says on there. I don't know what model it is. Let's see what it says here on the back. Uh, no. Just Ferrari. I don't know what year. I don't know. This is a later model Ferrari. Look at the difference in the tail lights. I, I, I don't really know. I have a hard time telling the years. The cars from the last. How you doing? Oh, it's a Maserati. Well, that's like a big Maserati. Goodness gracious. Wide. Wine color. Man, it's got to be a, at least a V8, V8 12. I don't think it'd be a V12, but a V8 for sure. Just big. It's a pretty color. Mm, not crazy about the back. The front of it looks nice though. Black Ferrari. Oof. Looked like the Magnum Ferrari from the 80s. Convertible. Let's see if it says what model it is. I don't know. Here we go, F35, F355 Spider. And this is a 308, I can't pronounce it, Quattrova. A lot of them, are, I've seen several of them from uh, Montana. Must be a collector in Montana or 
dealer in Montana keeps sending them here. Like the fifth, sixth, seventh one I've seen from Montana. It's like a luxury Maserati, but sporty look, like a like a Bentley. Here's a yellow Ferrari. Good looking car. I just can't imagine how much it costs to maintain these cars. 430, F430? Woof. I don't know. Mellow, mellow, it says. It's got the engine with the glass and the glass over the trunk where you can see the engine. Look at the wheels. Good looking car. Yellow. Some bright colors today. What, what year, what model did I say it was? I uh, saw it here somewhere. Now I don't know where I saw it. There it is on the window. F uh, rear view mirror 430. I don't know. I don't know much about it. It's a good looking car though. All right, another red Ferrari. Cherry red. Wow. See if we can figure out what model this one is. Wow. Is it a late, later model, maybe? Yeah. The tail lights. And I don't know. Uh oh. I backed into something. No good. No bueno. Scarred it all up. Three? I don't know. I can't read it. 350, maybe? Somebody backed into them or they backed into something. Wow. This one's even lower to the ground. I don't know what year this one is either. It's in the last 20 years, I would assume. 10 years? I don't know. This is Ferrari, maybe 20 years. I don't know, I can't, I can't tell the years much. F40 it says. From the ones that are Oh, they got red seats in there. Look at that. You can tell if they're older than from the 80s, but the 90s, but I can't tell much. Look at this one. It's neon green. Is this a Ferrari? No, oh, this is a Lamborghini. Look at that. <laughs> that was a neon green Lamborghini right there. That's what I think Lamborghinis should look like. This is a Bertone. Lamborghini. Montana again. There's a Lamborghini Countach. Woof, look at the back of this thing. All right, let's do a walk around it. It's the most Lamborghinis I've seen here at three. Neon green. I mean, this is what you think Lamborghinis and Maseratis look like. Not like, like that one looks like a luxury car, like a Bentley. This looks like a sports car. And this is a Lamborghini. Whew. Now these has to have the doors, the wing doors. Wow. Looks like a Mach 5 from that cartoon Speed Racer. Woof. Wow. Look how low that thing is. Wow. 
Wow, there's rides on the ground. Man. Lamborghini Countach. Wow. That is a good looking car. All right, and then this orange one, I think has been here for a little bit. Man, I don't know, maybe so. Look at, I haven't gotten a good look at it. Look how wide it is in the back. I don't know what these things, speedometers go up to. No idea. This one goes to 220. <laughs> Wow. Lamborghini VT. We have a bumper sticker, if you can believe that, on this car. Wow. It's pretty incredible. They would put a bumper sticker on this car. See, this is a Diablo 6.0. See, I don't have any idea how much these cars are. I have to go up and look, go look them up. Look, try to get the model. If you know, let me know. Got a Diablo 6.0 and a Countach, and I don't know what this one is. It's a Bertone. Man, great looking cars. All the back of the Lamborghinis are very different. This has got to be 80s. And maybe that's 2000s and that's last 10 years. I'm not sure. Great looking cars. I'm sure they're all over. 100,000. Maybe more than that. I don't know. I said I'm looking at that Ferrari last time I was here about three or four weeks ago and it was got home and found out it was 16 million dollars. I didn't even know it. I think it was a 58. Wow, it's good looking cars. All right, well that was pretty exciting. Really good cars today. Lots of Lambos. Lots of Ferraris. It's always something. Always something on this street. The car shop. Fast cars. If you need any work done on your exotic car, this is the place to come. They get cars from all over the world. Literally. They ship them all over the world there. Get them looked at. It's kind of like a, just an alley. Look at this. Who would think? Multi, working on that Porsche body there. Multi-million dollar cars down this alley. Definitely a few auto body shops down through here. It's just an alley. I just came up on it one day. I don't know how I drove down here. You see <laughs> 10 Ferraris parked in a row. Unbelievable. It's an old Chevy truck in there. Can't tell. Looked like it's from the 50s. All kinds of cars parked in here. We got down there. Old VW Bug from the 60s. Looks like a boat. Man. All kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see. Fast Cars Limited. If that's where, that's the name of it. Uh oh. Just on an alley. Mary Ann Drive. All right. 
right, walk down here a little bit. Never been down here before. On the walk. See what's going on. Another alley. I don't think I'm going down there. That's a dead end. Uh-oh, private property, no trespassing. Look out. Trailer park, I think. Man. Like one's for sale. I'm gonna buy a trailer. Walk down here a little bit and come back. All right. Well, if you're playing along, write down how many days in a row this is for you. 10 days, just getting started, 20 days. Maybe you've done a month. Check back every day, write down your progress. Uh-oh, mobile park, not a street. There's a senior park for residents 55 and older. Yeah, walk down here a little bit more. say that uh, people with written goals are 10 times more likely to achieve it, so write it down. I'm going for 100 days. I think I'll make it. I'm already at, let's see, 92, 3, what is today? 90, let's see, 2, 3, 4, 96. 96 days in a row. I don't think all those and the definition of a muscle car. I don't think those Ferraris and Lamborghinis, I think those are fall under the category of uh, exotic sports cars, not muscle cars. Think of a muscle car, it's American. All right, walk down here for a second, block or so, see if we see anything interesting. The Ford Bronco. People are loving the Broncos now. I have never driven on this street, walked on this street, nothing. It'd be for another day. Let's walk down here. It's looked like a lot of Apartments or something. Town homes, apartments, it looks like. I don't know. Never been down here before. Knock down here for a minute. There are apartments. I'm like all apartments, I think. Wow. A bunch of apartments down there. Kind of old Volvo from the 80s. Not that exciting. Now more apartments. Like apartment street or something. 10 to 20 apartments down there. I think I'm gonna turn around here soon. many apartments. These are townhomes here, maybe. Look at that, more apartments. I think so. I don't know, they could be townhomes. One for sales, maybe it's just a bunch of townhomes. This one's sold. I guess they're townhomes, I guess. I'm gonna turn around. Come down here another day.
Walk on the other side. Get down there and can't get back. I'll be walking for three miles. This will be for another day. The pretty pink trees and not really bushes. They're actually trees. The same flowers that I have. They bloom this time of year. Pretty. Smell nice. That's nice. Look at that. It's a whole tree full of them. industrial down there commercial right in the middle of a bunch of houses and apartments Those cars are definitely look like they're going to be the highlight of this walk, which was pretty cool. I'm going to check out some of the other videos. What did I see? Uh, oh, yesterday was it? Yes, yeah, yesterday I saw a policeman pulling over a car. They were already pulled it over. I don't know what was going on. Giving them a ticket or something. Then they went speeding away. They're going somewhere else. I don't know what they were going for. That was yesterday. If you want to see that, that was something. And uh, the day before that, I saw a cute little puppy. And earlier this week, I saw that 67 Cherry Red Ranchero. That's a great looking car. He had it all fixed up. It's beautiful. Always something. I'm going to walk down here. Kathy wanted a donut. So I don't know how much more. I'm gonna get on this video. Usually cuts out after about 30 minutes. I guess I'll uh, probably cut out and then on this video I'll have a part one and a part two. I'm not gonna do another mile, so when I post it, this will be part one and then I'll put part two, which will be another seven or eight minutes, I guess. But I'm not going to do another walk to of another mile, I'll just do a part. I'm going to walk down here to see what this trailer park looks like. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, it's kind of odd. I think this uh, says it's a 55 and older. Walk down here just a minute and see what it looks like. A bunch of trailer parks. Trailers. They're pretty small. Whoa. Goes all the way down there. It's not a ton of them, to be honest. A 10, 20, I mean, I guess 50. A trailer park. And I guess it goes back a little farther. No. That's a manager or something. Maybe he's 50 or 60. I don't know. We got a rec room and I don't know. It's about as far as I want to go though. Go from Manhattan Beach where the houses can be up to 15 million, 20 million, and you got a trailer park here. They're probably about a, I don't know, they're not even really houses, it's a trailer. I guess a few thousand. The little guys. 
I don't know. I'm not walking anymore around in there. Some of them look kind of nice, I guess. Oh, look out. It's tearing off into here. All right. So probably going to cut off here in a minute. This will be part one. And like I say, I'll push part two with this one. Just be another video, but it'll be part two. And I'll, I'll walk past the, uh, the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis again on the way back. I got to pop in here and get a donut. Kathy wanted a donut, so that's going to be pure excitement here in just a second. Kind of a busy street. All right. And some more of the trailer park even all the way down here I gotta get a foot massage 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. oh boy I don't think I'm gonna do that and get a personal training you go fishing right here look at that I've never seen that before back at noon or something donuts that's me They're locked. Closed. What's up with that? Well, I guess Kathy's not getting her donut. I don't know what their hours are. Uh-oh. They're going to be closed for a month for my wedding. April 27th to the 28th, but not the 27th yet. No, no donuts. Sorry, Kathy. <coughs> wow, look out. <coughs> He's blowing his horn. Wow. Yeah, pull over. Look at all these people. Man. They don't even pull over. Wow. A lot of these people wouldn't even pull over. It's crazy. I don't even know what it means, I guess. Yeah, a donut place must close at noon or something. Nobody wants a donut afternoon. Kathy's not gonna be happy. That's the way it goes. Well, it's so loud. Look out. Man, what is going on? Got a Ambulances going by me and big trucks trying to run over me. Uh, man, uh, look out. What's going on? I'll go past these Ferraris again. There's a F-150 truck. Looks like it's from the 80s. I guess. I would guess. That's what it looks like to me. The Cadillac looks like it's from the 80s as well. Get out of the street. I'm going to get run over. <sighs> Avenue Auto Body. That's been established since 1988. Yeah, they must do some good business too. I don't really see that many interesting cars in there though. Mustang. Some kind of car back there that's covered up. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Ferrari, 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 Maserati, Ferrari, Ferrari, Ferrari. Ferraris to the left, Maseratis to the right. 
I mean, Ferraris to the left, Lamborghinis to the right. Look at this. It's unbelievable. 